of 2021 while they process in. Please remain standing while the band plays our national anthem.
please remain standing and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Welcome to the class of 2021's promotional ceremony and celebration. We are all very proud of the accomplishments of our students. Now I would like to introduce Mrs. Ann Benbenek, Assistant Principal and Master of Ceremonies to Student Awards. Please give a warm welcome to Mrs. Benbenek. Thank you. At this time, we will have the orange team, teachers Mrs. Thornton Genova, Ms. Mercier, Mr. Keogh, Ms. Noble, Mrs. Kasprak, and Mrs. Stevenson to present their awards. Bertrand Russell said, mathematics, rightly viewed, possesses not only truth, but supreme beauty. The students who will be receiving the math award have always demonstrated a commitment to mathematical knowledge and a desire to learn from their mistakes. Though at times math can be a struggle for both students and teachers alike, these students have maintained a positive attitude and a sharp wit. For these reasons and more, the 2017 math awards for Orange Team go to Alyssa Fisher for the Genova class. and to Katya Markovich for the Mercier class. <laughs> now for the science award. Carl Sagan said, we live in a society exquisitely dependent on science and technology in which hardly anyone knows anything about science and technology. As a science teacher, I am lucky enough to work with students who are trying to prove this quote wrong. For my science award, I chose a student with a true passion for science. This student has always challenged me with questions about the nature of our universe and existence and is always looking for opportunities to expand his knowledge. He is a dedicated learner and I can't wait to see what he will do in the future. The 2017 Science Award for Orange Team Genova class goes to Isaiah Tomas. There are about, excuse me, there are about 50 students that I could have given this award to. You all have worked very hard this year and have been very blessed to work with all of you. Anyways, this student has been very helpful in class and in homeroom. She has helped her peers selflessly, usually without having to be asked. She has done a wonderful job of incorporating her love of art with her love of science. She also has great taste in music. Heather Villani. When Mrs. Oles and I were sharing the names of our award recipients, we realized our two students had a lot in common. Mrs. Oles has also had the pleasure of having both of these students over the past three years at the middle school. So we wanted to present our awards together. This year's Orange Team English Language Arts Award honors two individuals who have consistently given 100% effort all year. They are creative students who read thoroughly to find a deeper meaning and they write with a voice that reveals passion and insight. Advice from their teachers is sought out when making revisions to their writing, and lost points are investigated with the goal of improvement the next time around. Each of these students truly exemplifies learning for the sake of learning. We are proud to name Peter Malou 
and Mia Carboni as the recipients of this year's Orange Team ELA Award. Mrs. Oles could not be here tonight, so I will be reading on behalf of her. This award for history from Mrs. Oles is for a student whose passion about history is contagious. In every class he is in, he, rises the, he raises the level of discourse. Three years ago, if you had walked, in, walked by his sixth grade classroom, you would have observed him asking questions about the key differences between the Paleolithic and Neolithic era, or inquiring about the impact of Hammurabi's code on the development of civilization. If you stepped into his seventh grade classroom, you would have caught him actively participating in a lively conversation about the impact of the United Nations on post-World War II geopolitics. If you were on the bus ride to Wicked two years ago, or excuse me, two weeks ago, you would have enthusiastically listened, as Mrs. Oles did with a smile, as he engaged a captive audience of peers in a dialogue about the history of the English monarchy. Mrs. Oles wishes she could be here tonight to present this award to a student who exemplifies the school's mission statement of having a strong mind for history and, above all, a kind heart. The 2017 History Award for Mrs. Oles on the Orange Team goes to Zachary Blair. I am lucky that the majority of my students generally seem interested in history, or at least they do a pretty good job of making me think they do. But once in a while, I get extra lucky to have a student that shows genuine passion for the subject. This year's award recipient truly knows, wants to know more about seemingly everything, and especially history. He asks me a question at least once or twice a week that I don't know the answer to, which not only leads to his improved learning, but my own. What a beautiful cycle. Brian Herbert said, the capacity to learn is a gift. The ability to learn is a skill. The willingness to learn is a choice. This student makes that choice day after day, and as a result, I believe, will lead a tremendously successful and interesting life. I am so proud to have the opportunity to have taught him. The 2017 History Award for the Orange Team goes to Max Pardon. Education is a marathon. Middle school is that intensely challenging stretch beyond the midway point, but nowhere near the finish line. In order to excel, students must buckle down, exhibit grit and perseverance, ignore the outside distractors, and continue down the punishing path. The student who is deserving of the determination and character award for the Orange Team demonstrated tremendous resolve and focus during their eighth grade year. The student had a tireless work ethic never shied away from a challenge, and always went above and beyond teacher expectations. I have no doubt that this student will find great success at Hopkinton High School. The 2017 Determination and Character Award for the Orange Team goes to Amanda Kelly. At this we will invite the green team teachers, Ms. Abate, Mr. O'Connell, Mr. Hayes, Mr. Masha, and Mrs. Weiss to present the team awards. The saying, it's not what you say, but how you say it that matters, is something that probably everyone has heard at one time or another. For this year's Green Team English Award, the saying would go like this. It's not how she wrote, but what she wrote about that matters. This student offered thoughtful and intelligent insights in every writing piece done, large or small, graded or ungraded. As a teacher, I love to learn from my students, and I can say that I learned a great deal from her about Buck, about Atticus, and even maybe a little something about Black Dog. 
That said, the saying could also be changed to say it's not what she wrote about, but how she wrote that matters as well. This student has a way with words, a mastery of the English language that tells anyone who reads her work that she is a natural born writer with a true gift. I hope she finds as many opportunities to write and share her writing with others as is possible as she continues to the high school and beyond. Congratulations to Olivia Jones for winning this year's Green Team English Award. Science is about experiencing and understanding the world around you. Virtually anything in the world can be studied through the sciences, so some requirements to consider the issues of this world and beyond are a sense of curiosity and an open mind. In addition, science is often collaborative and necessitates good group skills and a kind personality. This year's winner has shown curiosity, enthusiasm, achievement, and a wonderful personality in my classroom. I believe she will succeed in whatever she chooses to do, whether it is in the sciences or elsewhere, and I'm happy to announce that the 2017 Science Award for the Green Team goes to Ellery Shetty. The word history is derived from the Greek word historia, meaning investigation or learning through inquiry. Inquiry is active. To study history takes work. It is a struggle in which not every student wishes to engage. But every so often I get a student who does not shy away from the struggle. A student that takes interest in the inquiry and strives to produce excellent work. This year I had a few students who fit that bill, but one student stood out. By definition, the delineation between prehistory and history is the advent of the written word. To love history is to love the written word. This student's love for the written word was apparent every time I had to ask her to close the book she was reading and open the textbook we would be reading together. Not a computer screen, mind you, but an honest-to-goodness book. Believe me, it pained me to ask a student to close a book. This year, I would like to present the O'Connell Team History Award to Alana Miller. The Green Team Determination and Character Award is presented to a student who exemplifies resolve within the classroom and courage in the face of adversity. In Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird, small town lawyer Atticus Finch explains to his young son, Jem, that a person's character is revealed when faced with a seemingly challenging task. He says that although odds may seem insurmountable, quote, you begin anyway and see it through no matter what. Here Atticus is alluding to a trial in the 1930s Jim Crow South, which probably seems like a far cry compared to thinking about the lives of eighth graders at Hopkinton Middle School. However, we as teachers see determination and character each and every day in our classrooms. We see it in students who take challenges head on, in students who show perseverance when times get tough, in students who do the right thing, even if it might not be the most popular thing to do. We see it in students who see things through no matter what. This is a student who day in and day out displayed to her teacher's determination in the face of obstacles and great character in her thoughts and in her actions. It is my pleasure to present this year's Green Team Determination and Character Award to Ms. Chloe Johnson. The recipients of the math award for the green and white teams epitomize what it means to be a good student. They have a passion and a talent for math and are willing to share it with others. These students have gone above and beyond independently creating study guides, reference sheets, and practice quizzes for their peers. They are a resource for their peers and can always be found helping others in and out of the classroom. They are always kind and respectful. They are able to think creatively and analytically about the subject matter, which is a rare find. We are proud to present the 2017 Math Award for the White Team and Green Team to Chandler Chung and Skylar Chung.
At this time, the white team teachers will present their awards. Mrs. Snyder, Mrs. Brooks, M. Scheingold, and Ms. Camboris. In a self-reflection piece written back in September, this student wrote that she adores writing narratives as well as poems about nature and life. A quote by Thoreau reminds me of this student. He said, the question is not what you look at, but what you see. This student has a notable skill in finding meaning in places others may overlook. The 2017 White Team English Award for the, excuse me, the 2017 White Team English Award goes to Kelsey Breslin. The winner of our team's Social Studies Award goes to a student who has always gone be above and beyond, driven by his own innate curiosity rather than just the pursuit of a good grade. Incidentally, the student did manage to get an A plus every trimester this year. In social studies, um, or often this student will pursue independent research on a historical topic we have discussed in class just for the joy of learning something new. This student is a quiet leader who never brags, but makes the classroom a more enjoyable place with his sense of humor. Congratulations, Rohan Minocha. The White Team Science Award is given to the student who has consistently gone above and beyond in all aspects of their coursework. This person has enthusiastically tackled all projects and challenges, maintained academic excellence throughout the year, demonstrated a passion and expertise for the subject, and has best exemplified the minds and habits of a scientist. The recipient of the 2017 White Team Science Award for academic excellence goes to Maya Storm. After working with this grade for the past two years, I have been able to see impressive growth amongst everyone. This year's re recipient of the Determination and Character Award exemplifies grit and consistently demonstrates a commitment to his work. He has shown enormous growth throughout his middle school years. Even in the face of his toughest trimester, the student will ask if his work is still at its best. As someone who shows compassion for everyone he meets and shows tremendous perseverance and a positive attitude, the 2017 Determination and Character Award for the White Team goes to Hayes Pearson Woodruff. This time, the foreign language teachers will present their awards. Ms. Fiore, Mrs. McNally, Mrs. Brennan, Mrs. Porzio, and Mrs. Kirschenbaum. Over the past two years, the student has demonstrated a tremendous enthusiasm and positive attitude for learning. She is self-motivated and sets high standards in strengthening her communication skills as she pursues her path toward proficiency in French. She enthusiastically embraces all opportunities to speak French and is curious and eager to learn about and experience cultures in the Francophone world. This young lady is kind, caring, and respectful and is truly a role model for others. It is my pleasure to present my 2017 French Award to Karen Gallagher.
Each day since the start of grade seven, this student has shared her love of all things French. She would share about her cousin's living experience in France, and she also joined in a middle school book club that read all about a young middle school's girl, a young middle school girl's magical trip to Paris. I know that one day she will take the same trip. I have enjoyed teaching her for two years, and I hope to keep in touch with her and to hear all about her adventures that she will take to France. My 2017 French award goes to Ainsley Elliott. The next award is for a student that has only been with Hopkinton Middle School for a short time. She has made a smooth transition to our school, and it seems like she has been with us since, since the start of her middle school years. She is happily engaged in our Spanish class activities and always volunteered to participate in class discussions. She is kind to her classmates, and she always has a positive attitude. My 2017 Spanish award goes to Mira Parthasaranthi. This student has continued to show a passion for learning Spanish since his very first day in the classroom. He frequently participates in class and is always excited to speak in Spanish. He has consistently shown leadership qualities by working well with any student and helping them when they are struggling. His classmates look up to him as a positive student, peer, and friend who is respectful and hardworking. I am also very proud of him and know he'll do great things next year at the high school. The 2017 8th grade Spanish award for Senora Brennan's class goes to Jake Chirko. Frank Smith once said, one language sets you in a corridor for life, two languages open every door along the way. That truly is the case, and I know that this year's recipient for the Spanish award will be walking through many open doors. This student has continually set high expectations and consistently surpassed both hers and mine. She took it upon herself to not only become as proficient as possible in Spanish, asking for extra work, books to read, websites to work on, but also voluntarily began studying German to connect with her family's heritage and French just because. Charlemagne said, to have another language is to possess a second soul. She already has a beautiful soul, and I look forward to seeing the growth of many more beautiful souls in this student. My 2017 Spanish award goes to Mia Carboni. It is so exciting as a teacher when I have a student who really enjoys Spanish and seems to innately understand it, sometimes before I even teach the concepts. This student has shown a real love for learning Spanish. She regularly participates in class and often frustrates her peers with her repeat victories on Kahoot games. She always does her best work and often asks questions that indicate connections that she's making to the material outside of the classroom. I have watched her grow in her understanding and command of the Spanish language over the past two years, and I am continually impressed. She has raised the bar and made me a better teacher. In addition to getting to know this student in Spanish class, I've also had the privilege of watching her flourish as an Ignite leader this year, which has allowed me to see a little of her personality outside of her academics. Though she will be leaving Hopkinton Public Schools to attend St. Mark's next year, I know she will be very successful in her study of Spanish both in high school and beyond. My 2017 Spanish award goes to Tate Frederick. The wellness department, Mr. Parker, Ms. Pinto, Mrs. Santos, and Mrs. Place will now present their awards.
From the start of seventh grade, when I first had this student, through games for fun and fitness, and ending this trimester with racket sports, one phrase sticks in my mind. Thank you, Mr. Parker. I did the math, and it works out to about 100 times that he said this to me, and I don't think he missed a day in all that time, even if it was right after taking a racket sports test or doing the pacer. That says a lot about him as a person. He was independent, hardworking, and helpful in class, a true pleasure to see walk through the door every day. My 2017 Award for Excellence in Physical Education, thank you, Max Pardoon. Over the last three years, this person's actions define excellence in physical education. This person includes everyone, shows great sportsmanship, leads by example, and is always eager to learn, have fun, and play hard. The 2017 Excellence in Phys Ed goes to Jack Dione. Character attributes often are revealed when we play. I decided to give my award to someone whom I've had the pleasure of teaching for the last three years. She is someone who displays a variety of positive character attributes, not only to be a good student in physical education, but to be a good person throughout her life. She is someone who plays fairly, is honest and kind. She's a good team player and always demonstrates much perseverance. I feel proud to give my award to Shay Butler. Um, this year's eighth graders are particularly special to me. It's the first class that I've had all three years as a middle school health teacher. For that reason, it was very difficult to pick one person for this award. When I thought back, back over the last three years, one student stood out above others. I've continually been impressed with her level of maturity since the sixth grade. She has shown strength in her character through and through. She's conscientious, hardworking, enthusiastic, curious, attentive, and respectful. She is a role model to her peers. It's my pleasure to give this year's health award to Olivia Jones. At this time, the drama and music departments, Ms. Gifford, Mrs. Nielsen, Mrs. O'Toole, Mr. Dodge, and Mr. Purdy will present their awards. Dramatist Oscar Wilde once wrote that theater is the greatest of all art forms because it is the most immediate way in which a human being can share with another the sense of what it is to be a human being. And we are so fortunate that we have had so many fantastic human beings share with us their incredible artistry, their talent, their humor, and all of their gifts and they really shine like stars in the sky. And we have had two exceptional students give us their incredible light over the last three years. Like the sun and the moon, they really inspire everyone around them to grow and to dream. The 2017 Tony Awards for Excellence in Drama go to Lizzie Foti and Tony Weisinger. I'd like to present the Chorus Award to tru two truly deserving students who put their heart and soul into their work every single day. 
These students exemplify the drive, dedication, effort, soul, and spirit that it takes to be a true musician. I have watched them grow from young fifth graders into the mature adults that they are today, and I could not be more honored to have taught them. Their voices have grown and flourished, and I look forward to hearing them for years to come in the high school chorus as well. The 2007 Excellence in Chorus goes to Elena Regan and Dylan Morin. I have a unique position in this district where I meet these students as fifth graders. In the past four years, I've seen this group come together and work to produce some really phenomenal performances. The first student I would like to recognize truly has a passion for music. They'll send me emails telling me about a new piece of music they heard and they want to play, or ideas about something that we can do to sound better in class. He came to Hopkinton as a seventh grader, and it's been nice to see him settle into a leadership role in orchestra this year. I know that whatever artistic path this student chooses in life, he will he will be dedicated and successful. The orchestra award goes to Levi Watson. The next student I'd like to recognize has shown dedication from day one in fifth grade. She has gone above and beyond her school responsibilities by taking part in the Rivers Music School, she has taken private viola lessons, and she has participated in the Central District Music Festival. She is always led by example, and she has raised her own bars. I look forward to seeing her succeed in high school. The 2017 Orchestra Award goes to Mirabella Pellucci. The role of a musician is to express how we all feel as a society. It is more than notes on a page, lyrics from a song, or an infectious beat. It is a genuine emotional connection with the world that every musician strives for. For this reason, we can see the history of the world through music. We can feel the pain, anguish, and struggles of a people. We can experience, too, the joys, triumphs, positive change, and determination that we too often forget or do not notice. The general music students are expected throughout the year to find this voice, this unexplainable thing that exists in every musician, and capture it somehow. The two students that we have chosen for this year's General Music Award strive to make this connection with people around them every day. They choose to look at the world in a different light and make each moment in class an opportunity to know the world a little better. Each of these students took the opportunity each day to make this connection. They have inspired those around them to find the intention of musicians in their songs and in that find a little bit, about, a little bit more about themselves. It is my pleasure to give the General Music Award to Josh Fisher and Lillian York. It's been my pleasure to know this group of eighth graders since they began their instrumental career in, in fifth grade, and I'm honored to give out two awards this evening. Uh, first, in order for a music ensemble to function properly, certain students need to step up into more of a leadership role, first by knowing their music parts, then by example, doing all the little things that just need to get done. One student in particular has gone out of the way to not only know his music, but also ensure that the rest of his section has music to read. This student also stops in early or stays later to set up or break down the rehearsal space. The grade eight band this year has run far more smoothly because of students like this. The grade eight band Get It Done Award goes to Isaiah Tomas. It's a very rewarding feeling when a teacher can see a student find the place where they most belong. Many instrumental students take quite a while to either accept that the instrument that they're playing is truly the right one or to experiment a bit and find an instrument that is a better fit for them. Three years ago, a fifth grade clarinet player wanted to try a different instrument. Last year as a seventh grader, the same student auditioned for the Central Mass Junior District Ensemble and earned the highest score in the auditions for all of Central Mass. She then went on to repeat that top score achievement this past year. 
The 2017 Outstanding Band Student for 8th Grade Band goes to our bassoonist, Jesse Franks. At this time, we welcome Mrs. Willinger, Mrs. Calhoun, Ms. McDonough, and Mrs. Borges to present their awards. This year's award for excellence in the visual arts is being presented to a student that is humble and understated, yet is extremely talented and a positive influence on all of those working around her. On each project from sixth grade until eighth grade, she challenged herself to create unique artwork that was the perfect combination between being technically skillful and personally meaningful. I've enjoyed having her in class for three years and I wish her tremendous success at the high school next year. I'm happy to present this award to Paige Layton. Ms. Calhoun could not be here, so I'm going to read her uh, award on her behalf. Um, the student receiving the award for Dynamic Media was chosen because she has consistently exhibited a passion and dedication to digital art in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, from designing a beach-themed bag to creating and starring in a suspenseful and dynamic short film with a group of fellow students. Perhaps most notably, however, she has been an enduringly positive force in our school, and each classroom she is part of is made better because of her warm, creative, and overall shining presence. The 2017 Excellence in Dynamic Media Award goes to Catherine S. I'm not gonna mess up your last name. <laughs> So now for the Digital Literacy Award. So the Digital uh, Literacy Award goes to a student who has shown kindness, empathy, and thoughtfulness while exploring how to be a teenager in a digital world. The student has an ability to eloquently articulate her ideas in a way that encourages her peers to dig deeper and question their own beliefs and understandings. This student has consistently shown a willingness to think critically about her own digital life and is thoughtful and kind beyond her years. The 2017 Digital Literacy Award goes to Tiffany McCullis. This student took on challenges with all robotics projects. He excelled during our unit on programming and demonstrated excellent insight by incorporating compound gearing into his drag racer project. This student deserves recognition for his positivity and determination throughout the term. The 2017 Robotics Award goes to Joel Rosen. Ms. Norby will now present an award for the library. The following student not only racked up many frequent flyer library miles during her tenure as a middle school student, she also demonstrated her passionate excitement about reading through a wide range of books. We always took delight in her many visits during homeroom to scope out new books. Now, please allow me to share a little an anecdote, if I may, one that captures the essence of this student's love of reading. At the close of the eighth grade courtyard party on a balmy Friday evening last September, this student approached me with some trepidation to inquire if she could possibly check out a book that had caught her eye as she waited for the party to wrap up. Now, how could any librarian say no to such an earnest request? 
These are but two examples of why I am so delighted to offer the 2017 Library Award to Alana Miller. Congratulations, Alana. Now, Mr. Meehan will present the Student Spotlight Award. The Spotlight Award this year is not going to one individual, but to a group, the Hopkinton Middle School Gay-Straight Alliance. Being a kid in middle school is not easy. Peer perception, just fitting in socially is everything at this time. And this is a time when most kids are just trying to figure out who they are and how they fit in. It's an especially scary time when some kids realize that who they are is something that some of the other kids joke about or use as a term to be mean or spiteful. The HMS GSA started as just a small group of kids that just needed the support and needed hope to realize that they were not alone. Over the past two years, the group has grown to over 30 members. Watching these students become empowered, proud, and most importantly, happier, confident, and hopeful about the future has been one of my most fulfilling moments as an educator. Now, I'm not going to ask any of these students to stand up. I'm not going to ask them to come up. But I just want them to have that acknowledgement and to reflect on the positive, positive impact that they have had on our school environment. And in their honor, a donation has been made to GLSEN in the name of the Hopkinton Middle School Gay Straight Alliance. And now we would like to invite Annette Proudman from the Women's Club to present the Perseverance Award. Good evening. I'm here this evening to present the um, Hopkinton Women's Club's President's Endeavor Award. If you look up the word endeavor in a dictionary, it states that it means to strive or to try um, earnestly. And I'm sure that we're all aware that some people just have higher hurdles to jump than others. This award is given to the student who we feel best exemplifies the meaning of the word endeavor by striving to do their best and clearing those slightly higher hurdles whilst remaining positive, pleasant, and optimistic. I first had the pleasure of meeting this recipient when she joined the drama club in sixth grade and appeared in the play A Midsummer Night's Dream. Since then, she has continued to be involved in school activities and clubs and has always given 100%. She makes the best of everything and never complains about anything. She's a straight A student and a genuinely nice person who is a great role model. It gives me great pleasure to present this year's President's Endeavour Award to Elena Reagan. At this time, I'd like to invite Mrs. Grady, Ms. Pinto, and Mr. Keller to join me with administration awards. The very first award I have the honor of presenting 
is the Shane DeRoche Memorial Award. The Shane DeRoche Memorial Award is a very special honor. The award goes to a student who, like Shane, is respected by many and creates positive energy wherever he goes. The student is friendly, personable, generous, kind, approachable, and most of all, is a friend to all. He's a genuine light in our school. David Stett. The second award is also an award in memoriam. It is the David Laquadara Award. Dave Laquadara was a volunteer in our school who came to work in the office after school hours. He was a real gentleman who was welcoming to our entire community. He was a generous individual who always looked for ways to quietly help anyone in need, especially our students. Just like the recipient of this award, Dave has an excellent sense of humor, was always positive and kind to all. He put others before himself, volunteered his time, was humble, and was well-liked by peers and staff. The recipient of the Dave Laquadara Award, who embodies these qualities, is Timothy Terigny. And finally, the School Spirit Award. This is always a very special award to me because I received the School Spirit Award. The School Spirit Award this year goes to an individual who shows school spirit and pride in our school. She has been very involved in student council, which makes spirit days happen. She's enthusiastic, friendly, kind, and full of fun. It is with great pride that I announce the student with the most Hiller spirit, Shay Butler. At this time, we would like to acknowledge three students who were recognized earlier this year with awards that honored students from across the state of Massachusetts. Would these students please stand when I call your name? Tommy Bernardin as our Project 351 Ambassador. <laughs> Tommy couldn't join us tonight, um, he's in Italy. Uh, next, we have two students who were awarded the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Middle Level Educator Scholar Leader Award. Kelly Title and Tyler Holbrow. Congratulations to these three outstanding students. The School Community Award goes to a student whose presence in our school helps create a sense of community among peers, classmates, teachers, and staff. This student embodies the idea of community, camaraderie, trust, respect, and commitment. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Colby Mashad. The 26.2 Desire to Inspire Award goes to an individual who is a living example of inspiration. It goes to someone who through their actions unites motivates, enlists the spirits of all people. This person inspires us to learn more about ourselves each and every day. This year, the award goes to someone who has transformed our school and herself over the last three years. The 2017 Desire to Inspire Award goes to Elizabeth Kane.
principal's award goes to the student who has made a significant, lasting, positive impact on our school through leadership, determination, and the ability to work with others. This student has consistently exemplified leadership skills and maintained outstanding grades through middle school. This student works well with students and adults alike at HMS. This student always speaks respectfully without fearing what others may think. She is kind to others, consistently demonstrates integrity, and is always engaged in the classroom. She's been a member of orchestra, has been a tutor, a member of school council, and has even had the pleasure of sharing the stage with me in a drama production. As part of school council, the student regularly spoke as passionately, wisely, and thoughtfully as teachers and parents. Finally, and possibly most important, she is a passionate learner, as evidenced here tonight. She's not just interested in achieving excellent grades, she is driven to learn. Even if her grade on an assessment is outstanding, she still wants to understand the mistakes she made. This year's Principal Award, also known as the Most Poorly Packaged Award, goes to Mia Carboni. At this time, I welcome Mr. Mann for the distribution of certificates. Okay, Jessica, are you ready? Jessica Applebaum. Adrena Arakalian. Amelia Bashi. Julie Chambers. Patrick Krantz. Nathan Foster, Lizzie Fody, Esther Klinger, Andrew Liu, Dylan Murphy, Charles Nealon, Colin Norad. Sweena Patel, <laughs> Elena Reagan, <laughs> Nick Rogerson, <laughs> Jackson Schlussel, <laughs> Paige Stephan, <laughs> Aiden Sullivan. Jasmine Patika. Caden Boyce. Caroline Connell. Matthew Cooper. Hope DeLuca. Anthony DiPietro. Andrew Domingo. Casey Gomez. Teddy Henneberry. Olivia Jones. Nicholas Chasey. Sarah Levinson. Kristen McCluskey, Cam Mulvaney, Lulu Murphy, Lucas Nealon, Elias Pereira, Hannah Quinlan, 
Jules Sage. Emma Van Beek. Delaney Augsburg. Kendall August. Haley DeLuca. Sean Fournier. Jessica Franks. Andrew Gilbert. Cameron Jarrett. Nick Capellos. Connor Kelly. Paige Layton. Juliana Lucas. Tiffany McCulis. Alana Miller. David Picentini. Matthew Reagan. Ellery Shuddy. Avery Schaefer. Alyssa Souza. NJ Thomas. Daniel Andrews. Rachel Bachman. Gabby Buentello. Jesse Chambers. Josh Zarapusco. Aditya Dutta. Devin Gross. Cam Hanna. Tyla Holbrow. Chloe Johnson. Matthew Klinger. Katja Markovich. Colby Mashad, Andrew Moore, Nate Morrissey, Garrett Morrissey, Elizabeth Mosher, Lil Pete. Emery Peterson. Lily Rooney. Emily Scroy. Haley Tolson. Samantha Altman. Joseph Blodgett, Julia Budden, Holly Burns, Chandler Chung, Caleb Dacey, Kelsey Eddy, Ainsley Elliott, Jared Franks, Tate Frederick, Emma Hansen, Julia Lerner, 
Rose McKeon. Matthew Meek. Max Pardoon. Devin Rowe. Aiden Rowell. You said Cheek. Isabel Thymes. Elisa Stolier. Kelly Title. Zach Blair. <laughs> Natalie Clot. <laughs> Sabine DiMartino. <laughs> Jack Dion. <laughs> Brooke Farrell. <laughs> Isabella Fiore. Emily Hackinson. <laughs> Olivia Hyman. <laughs> Pooja Ayer. <laughs> Tommy Johnson. <laughs> Ryan Lundy. <laughs> Caden Nicolazzo. David Stett. <laughs> May Sutherland. <laughs> Heather Villani. <laughs> Cassie White. <laughs> Michael Youssef. Caitlin Barnes. Abby Cassidy. Skylar Chung. Jake Cherko. Catherine Dacey. Russell DeMarco. <laughs> Lauren Donovan. <laughs> Henry Edwards. <laughs> Taylor Gowan. <laughs> Sienna Harrigan. Natalie Morgan. <laughs> Rachel Nordling. <laughs> Bell. Isabel O'Rourke. <laughs> Kara Perry. <laughs> Charlotte Picard. Angie Thompson. <laughs> Justin Wade. <laughs> Elise Blackstock. Peter Bedoulis. Desiree Siapa. Jack Connolly. Sophie Driscoll. Caroline Flanagan. 
Dan Greenleaf. Rayhan Habib. Liam Hartson. Sophie Kaplan. Abe Lukos. John Mastrangelo. Aiden Morin. Catherine Morse. Megan Murchie. Mia Santacondro. Aiden Scanavan. Vani Shama. Nina Underda. Lily Bari. <laughs> Sam Barros. <laughs> Catherine Barry. <laughs> Ross Komkowicz. <laughs> Sophie Cowan. <laughs> David Denoyan. Gianna Eddy. Aman Hadri. Emily Heyman. Parker Hone. Haley Kelly. Dylan Morin. Avery Murphy. Courtney Olofsson. Mira Pathasarathi. Geneva Skanga. Evan Theodoro. John Watson. Eliza Worrell. Brandon Carlson. <laughs> Riley Delaney. <laughs> Tyler Delory. Sarah Doyle. Andrew Hurlihy. Alexa Kaplan. Maddie Lamashia. Andrew Liu. <laughs> Rohan Minocha. <laughs> Megan Muldoon. <laughs> Connor Murphy. <laughs> Mirabella Pellucci. <laughs> Hayes Pearson Woodruff. Abid Pierre Mohammed, Joel Rawson, Amelia Sensini, Ronnie Seamus, Jake Sokol, Carly Stevens. Alexis Veal. Tony Weisinger.
Ashley Wolchik. Lillian York. Joseph Arena. Sophie Bauman. Sarah Bernardo. Kelsey Breslin. Cam Burden. Shay Butler. Maggie Hedstrom. Declan Herr. Elizabeth Kane. Rachel Lirette. Bodie Lucier. Eleanor Nealon. Jeremy Rawson. Lisa Senen. Eric Schultz. Dan Starring. Maya Storm. Jeffrey Toko. Aiden Yagubi. Parker Black. <laughs> Mia Carboni. <laughs> Harshi Shalamani. <laughs> Ethan Champlin. <laughs> Christian Cavino. <laughs> Isabella Eddy. Leela Harden. Alora Hoyt. Catherine Calais. Tara Kester. Tanya Khan. Peter Malou. Grace Pruker, Harrison Pruker, William Rock, Isabel Saparochitz, Aiden Walsh, Siri Yaramsetti. Nick Brown. <laughs> Kamala Chuss. Gwendolyn Clark. Kushi Dave. Caitlin Dayun. Alyssa Fisher. Karen Gallagher. Katherine Graham. Connor Kelly. Eric Ledis. Aiden Medeiros. Lauren Pantazes. Amelia Picard. Soleil Randall. Aaron Riley. Eric Sullivan. Isaiah Tomas. 
Timothy Terigny. Arpa Tran. Lily Vaughn. Harrison Weber. Nand Dixit. Josh Fisher. Layla Frederick. Thomas Guerra. Kylie Hardenbrook. Tara Josie. Aiden Cavini. Brian Keefe. Amanda Kelly. Paige Lavlinay. Tobin Locke. Nishi Manikandan. Andrew Mimo. Fateh Mohammed. Tyler Morse. Brady Murphy. Eric North. Sophia Opetisano. Cole Salyards. Catherine Stepankavich. Alopa Waje. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the class of 2021. Welcome our student speaker, Lauren Donovan. All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Lauren Donovan, and it is with great honor that I speak in front of you all tonight on the behalf of the class of 2021. As we sit here tonight and prepare to exit the middle school for the last time as students tomorrow, we have so much to look forward to and so much to look back on. This is a time of happiness, excitement, and celebration. But I can stand up here and tell you that our graduation from middle school is the only thing we have to celebrate. It is equally as important to celebrate the journey we started three years ago, along with all the struggles and failures it has encompassed, not just our destination. Without these struggles, we wouldn't have learned any of the lessons that we will take with us onto the next major step in our lives. When walking through the doors of Hopkinton Middle School for the first time, I had no idea what to expect. The only knowledge I had of middle school came from my two older sisters, who informed me on what they thought to be the most important information regarding this experience. They told me the layout of the school, what each teacher was like, and what each RA class was about. As I began my own journey, I started to learn more than just what my sisters told me, such as how my schedule worked, where to sit at lunch, and how to navigate the constantly changing school. I remember my worst fear was always going to the wrong lunch, and I'm sure most of us here tonight have shared that same feeling of anxiety. Although that information is imperative to middle school survival, it is all truly irrelevant when it comes to surviving real life. Class of 2021, 
If someone asked you right now what you really learned in this middle school, would you say, I learned that the brown gym is the one near the cafeteria? Most likely not. No matter who you are, you have learned things much more important. Things that have had an influence on your character, things that have made you stronger, and things that you will never forget. One of the most important lessons I have learned is to remember to persevere through times of struggle to rise to greatness. Middle school is full of difficult times as we learn who we want to be while trying to do our homework successfully, make new friends, join clubs, play the sports that we love, make time for our families, and more. It has gotten difficult for me, as I'm sure it has for everyone here tonight, to juggle everything at once. Even writing this speech caused me to stay up way too late, according to my mother. But in the long run, persevering through hard times where every aspect of life seems to be overwhelming is very important. Without doing this, you will not be able to achieve success. Putting hard work and effort into everything you do, no matter how difficult, is a major key to success, as DJ Khaled would say. I have also learned not to be your own worst enemy. Throughout middle school, I always convinced myself that I was bad at math. Therefore, math was always a frustrating subject for me. But eighth grade was different. During eighth grade, I gained new confidence in my academic abilities. Math became easier and easier as I pushed away the negative idea that I didn't understand math. During this time, I realized I had been my own worst enemy for years, as I believed that I wasn't capable of being excellent at math. So, my message to you is to never doubt yourself, because you are just as good as how good you believe you are. Now we are moving on to a thrilling and challenging part of our journey through life. We are moving on to high school. Some of us are going to private schools, some of us are moving away, and the rest of us, like myself, are moving on to Hopkinton High School. However, no matter where you're going, you must remember where you came from. We have all experienced being a student at a Hopkinton Middle School, and we have all grown and learned so much throughout these past few years. We must utilize what we have learned here to assist us in the future. I will always, believe to rem I always remember to believe in myself and my capabilities, and always persevere through the hardest of struggles. To everyone in the audience tonight, I hope you all can also apply these lessons to your lives to work towards your goals and brighter futures. Lastly, I am forever grateful that I was able to spend my middle school years with everyone here, and I look forward to what the next four years will bring as we continue exploring who we are and who we can become. Class of 2021, please remember the following. You can always achieve anything you want through hard work and putting your mind to it. You mustn't let yourself be held back by your fears or worries. You must take the lessons you have learned from your failures and use them to achieve success in the four opportunistic years ahead. The upcoming part of our journey will not be easy, but our greatest achievements still lie in the future. So let's enjoy tonight and commemorate our middle school years as we move ahead to the new adventure that is high school. Celebrate your failures as much as your successes, and never forget what those failures and successes have taught you. I'd also like to take a moment now to thank the awesome members of the Hopkinton Middle School administration and faculty Without each and every one of you, our middle school years would not have been so amazing. And one more thing to remember. Try your hardest, do your best, and most importantly, be kind to everyone you meet. Thank you. Special note to Lauren's mom that was so worth her staying up late. I'd like to introduce four students who will be giving us a performance of yesterday. Rohan Minosha, Julie Chambers, Mirabella Paolucci, and Levi Watson.
Thank you. My name is Alan Keller, and I am principal of Hopkinton Middle School, and thank you so much for being here tonight. The purpose of tonight is to celebrate all the things that make Hopkinton Middle School unique and special. Thank you to Rohan, Julie, Mirabella, and Levi for an outstanding performance to touch on everything that makes HMS great. Parents, friends, family, guests, members of school committee, and of course, the reason that we are all here tonight, grade eight students. Thank you for being here tonight and for giving us reason to celebrate. Before I begin, I'd like to thank and acknowledge the efforts and time of Mrs. Carrie Connor, Mrs. Mary Ellen Grady, Mrs. Rita Balboa, Mrs. Lori McBride, Mrs. Lee Burns, Mrs. Hope Heyman, and many others in making tonight happen. Thank you as well to Mr. Purdy, Mr. Dodge, Mr. Hay, Ms. Conant, and Ms. O'Toole, and our outstanding grade seven band for their accompaniment tonight. To our middle school and high school custodians and high school staff that helped make this happen tonight here in the high school, and the many parent volunteers for making this event a reality. Thank you to you all. <laughs> Grade eight students, the adventure that most of you started three years ago when you entered HMS as much smaller, much younger, and certainly much quieter versions of yourselves ends tomorrow at 10.45. In your time here, I hope that you saw HMS as a two-way street where you gave as much to us as we gave to you. In case not, I'd like to highlight just a few items. When you arrived at HMS, you gave us the biggest class HMS has ever seen. In return, we created a mini team that, like Amazon to Whole Foods, was eventually acquired by a mega team. I then decided that we would no longer attend Washington, D.C. as our grade eight field trip. And in return, Elizabeth, Mirabella, Jessica, Adrena, Emily, Holly, and Devin stepped forward to give their time to ensure that you had a grade eight field trip. Mrs. Grady would give you, try your hardest, do your best, and be kind to everyone you meet. And you would give her patience as you waited to see if the national anthem or the Pledge of Allegiance would come first or at all. In the interest of time, I won't read the rest of my list, but I'll drop down to the bottom of it. We offered you cafeteria whole wheat pizza, and in return, you introduced us to bottle flipping and fidget spinners. <laughs> and so, one of the final legs of this two-way street that is HMS, I will offer you tonight, in exchange for your patience and attention, will be a piece of advice, and I promise it will be brief. Recently, I was listening to a podcast by Malcolm Gladwell. Mr. Malcolm Gladwell is a journalist, a speaker, and the author of five books that have all been on the New York Times bestseller list. This podcast was particularly interesting to me given that it was on the topic of teamwork because it connected to an assembly that we had earlier in the year from Miss Katie Hutchinson. Miss Hutchinson, you may recall, shared with us the power of groups. She said that most of the time, individuals come together in groups and achieve incredibly positive, constructive things. Unfortunately, though, sometimes individuals can be influenced as a part of a mob mentality, and groups can make destructive, not constructive choices. I always wondered how that can happen, how a group of individuals can be led down a path of destructive choices, and this is what piqued my interest in Mr. Gladwell's podcast. In it, Mr. Gladwell talks about two different types of groups, strong link groups and weak link groups. Strong link groups are ones where the strength of your group depends upon superstars. To use a sports analogy, if you want a better team in basketball, you go get a superstar like LeBron James. If you're close, but you can't quite win the championship, you add Kevin Durant. In basketball, you can ensure that the basketball finds its way to your superstar or superstars. The success of weak link groups, on the other hand, rely upon everyone. Continuing with my sports analogy, sorry, Mrs. Ben Benick. Soccer is considered a weak link as the, as the vast majority of scoring opportunities are developed from a series of passes that typically rely upon everyone on the field. Their success is dependent upon the strength of the weakest player on the field. Class of 2021, I believe that you are a weak, a weak link group, and I mean that as a compliment. Your success as a class, your next four years, will only be as successful as, as each of you strives to make it. You have tremendous potential, and I firmly believe in your ability to achieve great things. At 10.45 tomorrow, you'll find yourself at midfield with a tremendous scoring opportunity in front of you. I trust and believe that you will work together, 
call each other out when necessary, and support one another in pursuit of a common goal. Congratulations, grade eight, and thank you for all that you have brought to us at Hopkinton Middle School. I look forward to hearing about your accomplishments in high school and beyond. Thank you to all of you here tonight, and at this time, I invite you to the high school cafeteria for reception in honor of the class of 2021.